you know, a reasonably successful year last year in your first year as captain, get to semi-finals of both competitions. Um, but what's your reflections on that campaign? Um, yeah, pretty good year. We had a lot of disruption within the camp, really, with players. Um, you know, going off to England and we had a few injuries as well. So um, to see how the whole squad reacted to that is a real positive and hopefully we go on to set the machine. And what's been your focus during the off-season? What have you been really working on um, as a squad? Um, a bit of everything, really. We've put a lot of time in against um, spin with our batting. We felt like that was a big area we needed to improve in, especially in 50 overs in that middle overs period. Um, and we've put a big shift in physically as well, um, in the gym and out on the grass running. So, um, yeah, hopefully good things. And how much of a difference has it been having the 10, 11 players who are professionals who are here training more or less full time? Um, what have you noticed? It's made a massive difference just off the pitch as well, just spending time with each other a bit more and getting to know each other off, on and off the pitch, which is only going to help us when we're all together as a squad. So, um, yeah, having sort of 10, 11 of us most days here together has been really beneficial. And having that slightly wider coaching staff as well, having a psychologist, having um, greater S&C support, how much of a difference has that all made as well? Yeah, it's been fantastic. Um, having Louise come in as our sports psych, and we know we've got more S&Cs, more physios and more coaches coming in as well. Um, it just allows us to have more contact time with different people and you know, helping the staff as well, not stretching them as much as we have been doing. Um, so it's, it's only going to benefit us more. And um, how have you seen that development with perhaps some of the younger players who come in and first time professional contracts, rookie contracts? Um, how beneficial has it been for them particularly? Yeah, I think it's been massive. Um, you know, we've got 17, 18 year olds coming in on a full time contract. Um, back when we were that age, we didn't have that option. Um, so just getting them used to what goes on as a professional cricketer, you know, that, what you do when you've got a bit of time off and you know how different things like recovery, what's expected of you has been good and I think they've all done pretty well. And how are you feeling about the start of the season? We're probably what, a month away, three weeks away from the start yep. of the season. Um, how are you feeling about it? I'm really confident. Um, we just had a good trip to Desert Springs where results were a bit hit and miss, but actually the way we approached our cricket was really positive and I've got high hopes and every confidence that we're going to do well. And do you want to put a um, flag in the sand? What's the what's the goal? What's the aim for this year? Um, silverware. We'd love to, but we'd take any. And I think we've got a very strong squad. Even if we do miss our England players, we've still got a lot of depth. So we're definitely aiming for some silverware. Um, and on a personal note, have you set yourself any any objectives? Um, not massively. Um, obviously, just keep contributing with the bat and the ball, really. And if an England call comes my way, I'll take it with both hands, but I'm not um, not getting too ahead of myself. Fantastic. And um, final question, um, double header, Northern Diamonds at the Kira Oval, um, to have a sheaf of foot up. We're all buzzing. Um, we've been speaking about it a lot, actually, just for a lot of them, it's their first time to be playing at the Oval. So, yeah, it's going to be big and hopefully we can put on a show.